Also an important um, topic just to show not only how to graph using intercepts, but also just how to find intercepts. So I'm going to graph a linear equation using the intercepts. Um, but I'm also obviously going to show you how to find intercepts for a linear equation. And actually, any equation in general, it's just in this case, it's a line. But obviously, I can only use this method for lines because um, only lines require only two points. Any other type of function, if it's not linear, is going to require many more points to graph. Otherwise, you have to know, you know how to graph it based on the look of it. So anyway, um, I typically use this method if I have a linear equation in standard form, which is what this looks like. Ax plus by equals 6, right? Um, Ax plus by equals 6. Uh, sorry, equals c. This is called standard form of a linear equation. Um, standard form, you know, when a, when a graph is in standard form, it doesn't really give me any information about the graph. I have to do stuff to find it. And you can always put this in slope-intercept form and use that if you would like to graph it or to get information about your line. But let's just say I really want to just graph this quickly. Using intercepts is faster if it's in standard form to begin with. Now, let's find the x-intercept. If I want to find an x-intercept, remember that this is a point on the x-axis. So that means the y-coordinate is 0. So I'm going to set y equal to 0 and then solve for x to find my x-intercept. So what's going to happen is my y-coordinate is going to become 0. So that's going to, my y-term is going to disappear. I could really just cover up this term and just focus here, solving this. x is equal to 3. Don't forget that I found a point x is 3 when y is 0. This is one point by itself. And notice that it's an x-intercept, and I can tell because the y-coordinate is 0. To find my y-intercept, this is a point on the y-axis, which means that the x-coordinate is 0. So I'm going to set x equal to 0, and then I'm going to solve for y. So same thing. I'm going to replace x with 0, which means that this first term is going to go away. Anything times 0 is 0. So Really, you could just cover this up and focus on the rest of this equation and solve that. Well, y is going to be equal to negative 2. I found the point, though. When x is 0, y is negative 2. Notice that I have two points. That's all I need to graph a line. x, y, uh, 1, 2, 3. Real quick. Bomb, bomb, bomb. <laughs> OK, figuring out your own scale. Not perfect, but that's okay. I'm roughly sketching. Um, my x-intercept is 3, 0. So this is a point on the x-axis. My y-intercept is 0, negative 2. 0, negative 2. Connect these dots. I'm done. Now, I can actually look at this graph also and determine the slope. Up 2 to the right 3. So m is up 2, positive 2. I'm going to move this over. Um, m is up 2 positive 2, to the right 3, positive 3, m is 2 thirds. If I put it in slope-intercept form, I should determine that the coefficient in front of x is 2 thirds. Also, positive slope increasing from left to right, it matches. Now, when a function or when an equation, a linear equation is in standard form, it can't be written as a function. In order to write this as a function, 2x minus 3y is 6, I'd have to isolate y, because remember, when I have a function, I can only replace y with f of x to put it in function notation. So uh, if I subtract 2x from both sides, negative 3y is negative 2x plus 6. And I divide everything by negative 3. That means I get y, divide this by negative 3, positive 2 thirds. Remember I said that's what I expect. Divide this by negative 3, I get negative 2. Now I'm in slope-intercept form, which matches right what my graph says positive 2 thirds slope, negative 2 y-intercept. But if I want this in function notation, replace y with f of x, it's in function notation. OK? So um, if a linear equation is in function notation, then it's basically in slope-intercept form. 